वेलकम टू द सेकंड पार्ट गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डबल क्लिक ओवर हियर ऑन द बटन डिलीट देन वी नीड टू राइट द कनेक्शन स्ट्रिंग सो कॉपी दिस सेक्शन ऑफ कोड फ्रॉम द इंसर्ट सेक्शन एंड देन हियर गोस माय स्केल कमांड cmd is equal to new mysql command and then inside this command we need to write the uh, delete query so click on this delete go back to your localhost and then click and then select your uh, database database table and then uh, go to sql tab and then click on delete here from here you can uh, copy this SQL query from here. Go back to Visual Studio and then paste this code over here. Where? Roll number is equal to because a roll number is the primary key, so we can use the roll number as the condition. Two single quotes inside two single quotes, two double quotes inside two double quotes, two plus sign, and then here goes inside two plus sign txt roll number roll dot text, and then here goes connection. cmd dot execute this query and then close the connection connection dot close and then we should uh, display the message so for this message box dot so very good successful so let's run Uh, we inserted uh, only one uh, data in our database so we are going to delete this data, data from our database so run this application Provide the rule number from here, rule number one, and then click on delete. The message should display successful and go back to your database and check whether this result is in the database or not. Here you can see no uh, data in our database, uh, so we complete the code of this delete button. So moving forward to update button of our program so copy this connection code from here and then paste over here now my sql command cmd is equal to new mysql command and insert this mysql command parameter here goes the query update query click on update and then copy this sql query from here and then paste over here remove this roll number path because roll number is auto incremented so here is the name two single quotes inside two single quotes two double quotes inside two double quotes two plus sign and then txt name dot text similar procedure for all the field txt address dot text
txt phone dot text and then finally we will go to tx sorry txt email dot text and then where condition where roll number is equal to two single course two double course two plus sign and then txt roll number dot text and then add goes connection to our database now execute this query cmd dot execute non query and then we should close the connection connection dot close before closing the connection we should display the message message box dot so here goes successfully updated now run this program now uh, first of all there is no data in our database so we are going to add some data like take And then click on insert and after inserting we are going to update this data like we are inserting uh, this data you can see here roll number is 2 take name is take it is this one this one this one and we are going to update this data we are going to update the data of roll number 2 name phone number random random number and then click on update update successfully and then check in your database whether uh, the name should be updated to nepal and then add this to nepal and phone number to random and then email to random so click on browse there you go uh, name is changed to nepal nepal uh, random phone number and then email so we completed the tax of the update so i'll go to design of the form and we are going to complete the tax of the new button uh, when you click on the new button the all the text fields should be clear so txt address dot clear txt email dot clear txt phone dot clear txt rule number dot clear address email phone roll number txt name dot clear again run this program and then uh, type something over here like roll number one when you click on this new button this all text field should be clear there you go all text field is clear now we are going to um, design uh, for the data grid view so drag from your tool box and drop over here a uh, data grid view and then after dragging and dropping over here in this form um, this a pop-up window will appear and then click on edit column and then click on add roll number 
and then header name is roll number click on add similarly for another name here goes name address address phone phone and then finally email email or hit click on it and then click on close click on close here you can see our data grid view is ready now in the next video tutorial i'm going to write the code when you run this uh, project all the data from the database should be uh, display in this uh, data grid view and also i'm going to write the code uh, which poem when I click over this data, this data should be appear in this text box. So I'm going uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to hide this section. So go to property of this data grid view and then scroll down, click on uh, row error visible to false. There you go. Uh, the font section, this section, this empty column uh, will disappear after uh, disabling this row header visual section and then uh, this empty row is appear uh, to disappear or to disable uh, this scroll down and then click on allow user to add row click on this drop down icon and then click on false there you go so that's it in this video tutorial guys thank you once again for watching this video and if you like this video give thumbs up which really motivates us to make uh, such programming and tech video and share this video with your friends and stay connected with this channel i will show you in the next video tutorial guys have a good day bye bye